Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to look at steps to create, use, and manage pass keys on Windows 11. Pass keys are a secure alternative to passwords when signing in to websites and apps that support this authentication standard. This feature isn't specific to Windows 11 since Apple and many other platforms support this standard, including Google, X, eBay, Amazon, LinkedIn, PayPal, and many more. A pass key is technically a token that you can create on a website account and download on Windows 11, in this case, using Windows Hello. The next time that you access the website, instead of using a password, you can use the Windows Hello pin, fingerprint, or face to sign in with the pass key. This approach makes your account more secure since the password is no part of the process, making it harder for hackers to compromise your credentials. Okay, let's dive into the steps. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, on Windows 11, pass keys are supported on Microsoft Edge and on Google Chrome. So you will need to use those apps to create a pass key from your online service and save it on your computer using Windows Hello. So to start, open the web browser and then sign in to the service that you want to create the pass key. In this case, I'm using my Google account. And once you're signed in, you need to go to security. And then in this case, you need to click on pass keys and security keys. In here, just click the create a pass key button. The button is right here or right here. Then we're going to click the create a pass key button. Now we need to authenticate with Windows Hello. And now the pass key has been created and saved on your computer. Now you can sign out from your account. And when you sign back in, you can use the pass key. As you can see right now, we can use Windows Hello to authenticate without the password. Now to view and delete the pass keys saved on Windows 11, open start and look for settings. Then go to accounts and then go to accounts again. Now on this page, you might see all the account settings or you might have to click on accounts again to actually access the accounts settings. Then scroll down and click on pass key settings. And here we can see all the pass keys for different websites and services that you configure this feature. And if you want to delete a pass key, simply click this button and select the delete pass key option. And then click the delete button again. Now, once you deleted the pass key from your computer, you will no longer be able to access your account user using the pass key, but you will continue to be able to access your account using your password or other form of authentication. However, if you go to your account, you will still be able to find the pass key. And if you want to delete that from your account, you can do that by just clicking the delete button. And that's it, that's how you create, use, and manage pass keys on Windows 11. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.